Hi Taurus, welcome back. So Taurus, this is going to be a reading for January. It is you versus them back by popular demand just for January only special edition. So I'm going to pull cards on you and then the person you are dealing with. Overall shared energy is the sixth house, which is highlighting your craft. Okay, so this is all about your health, your well-being, your diet, work, you know, <laughs> your daily rituals, getting organized, you know, honing in on your skills. And this is the shared energy between you and the person you're dealing with. So interesting energy to get, okay? You might have common goals with the person that this is involving. Um... All right, and then you also have the hanged man here. So needing to see the situation from um, a different point of view, or you will be seeing it from a different point of view in January, okay? It's also like a necessary pause. It's getting um, gaining enlightenment, and you actually got this in your last reading, and it was about like a spiritual awakening, and the title of your last reading was Are You Psychic? Because I felt like for a lot of... A lot of you, Taurus, it was being highlighted, okay? And this is literally called the craft here. So <laughs> might have a spiritual uh, thing going on here, or a spiritual connection with whoever it is that you're dealing with. So let's see. Your overall energy is the new moon in Cancer and the waxing crescent moon, crescent moon. So this is saying that, you know, have faith in your dreams. You know, you're safe to do so during this time. Okay, so if you've been worried about the status of uh, anything, self, health, work, this re dynamic relationship, whoever this person is you're dealing with, then this is saying, you know, have faith that um, you, you are uh, divinely guided and safe during this time period. So person you're dealing with now they have the new moon in leo so this is all about confidence and needing to have that confidence or having that confidence and letting that push them towards success it's so interesting because the overall energy was kind of about like you're like looking at the details kind of like a work vibe almost uh, a well-being vibe and it looks like both of you are kind of working on whatever your dreams are trying to manifest your dreams your successes etc so interesting Taurus so let's go a little bit further into it here okay. recent past energy you have the Eight of Cups and the Fool. So, uh, you might have had to walk away from something to have a new beginning, you know, or had disappointments here that things may not have panned out the way that you had wanted it to in the past. This is past energy. Um, but also willing to walk when you needed to walk, willing to go when you needed to go and embark on something new, you know, understanding that what's not meant for you is not meant for you, but that doesn't mean that there's not something better for you. And for some reason, I have this song, Chain of Fools. I always get it wrong. Is it shame, shame, shame or chain, chain, chain? I can't remember. Shame, 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 shame of fools. I think it's chain. I don't know. Anyways, it's a very popular song. Uh, <laughs> that song is in my head. So yeah, not afraid to. This is like say. This is like this energy of in the recent past. Like, I'm not afraid to walk away. You know, I'm not afraid to. Uh, move forward and take that pain and let it make me stronger move forward I like that energy Taurus all right so person you're dealing with I have a phrase that keeps going back and it keeps going through my head walk right out on me Walk right out on me. There's a song with a lyric in it like that. If it comes back to me, I'll let you know what it is. I 
I think it is Hootie and the Blowfish. Let her cry. Let her walk right out on me. Let her sing. If it eases all her pain, let her go. Yeah. I don't know. Go <laughs> look that song up. <laughs> and if the sun comes up tomorrow, let it be. Hmm. All right. So person you're dealing with is the five of cups, the magician, and the three of swords. Well, hmm, hmm, hmm. I feel like this person over here may, in the recent past, have really been manifesting some dark stuff, you know? It's, it's like... Um, Kind of being a little bit down and out, uh, having the tools to be successful, but to being too stuck like in the pain or having just feeling some heartbroken. I mean, I don't know how else to put this, <laughs> you know, and being stuck in their head about it. You know, this person may be seeking guidance. They may even be watching tarot readings, honestly, because that's what the magician reminds me of. Um, if not, it's just like a manifestation, but not a manifestation of what they want, you know, it's a manifestation of uh, being confused, being in pain, and it's really feeling it, you know, it's kind of a dark energy here, and that's the past energy, okay, recent past energy, whereas it's not that I don't see that there's been things that you went through, Taurus, but I see that you are seem to be sailing through it, I guess, easier you know, than this person you're dealing with here. So, present energy. Present energy. Let's bring it into the present, shall we? You know what, too? I think, like, this person is working on their own craft, but I also feel like they're stuck in their emotions a lot more than you are, okay? Uh, I feel like you have a little bit easier to move energy here. All right, so then you have the Six of Cups, uh, Page of Pentacles. Woo! Actually, I need to put these back. So, I feel like your energies are crossing over each other's, Taurus. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, um, well, to some degree or another, we always affect each other's energies. But I just, I don't know. It's weird. This is a weird reading. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> See where it's going. So, I had the uh, Six of Cups, Page of Pentacles come out, but I put it back. Okay. Uh, because I just didn't feel it. But it, it, this could be someone that you have past history with that there was a missed opportunity or an opportunity taken back with. For others of you, it's just like investing in yourself and the present energy, kind of letting go of the past, letting it be what it was, let it cry, let it go, like the song says. You know, being more grounded and focused on being confident, on being... Uh, stable in your energy but at the same time you're in the eight of swords which isn't the greatest of energies so i do feel like there's still some worry or anxiety here or a sense of being like overly stuck in your head okay right i think that you want you're looking for for um balance in the situation here with the justice card but i also feel that to some degree or another you hold yourself back <sighs> hmm. i'm going to come back and clarify that one so person you're dealing with taurus 
<laughs> Let me tell you, I just got done doing Sagittarius's reading and it was, it had me emotionally all over the place. Now this one, I feel mentally I'm all over the place. So, hmm. person you're dealing with, four of cups, ace of wands. So yeah, I feel like there's a sense of distance, distraction here going on with this person, self-restriction. Uh, you you might you both blah, blah, blah. Ah, you both might be very scattered brain right now. I can't even get it out. Um, <laughs> it's like a scattered brain on both sides. Okay, uh, a sense of self-restriction here. All right, in the middle of yours though, you have this want and need to to at least appear like you're on top of things or actually feel like you're on top of things but at the same time your mind's like a 12 lane highway right now um, and it could be hard to concentrate but I think you're keeping the balance better than this person is this person's more an emotional state than you are like I said before and I feel like it's like they are coming out of it because there is creative new energy here, but they're also somewhat restricting themselves or kind of stuck in their head over it, okay? Still stuck on the pain, still stuck on the past for some of them, and they're unknowingly uh, manifesting this, actually. Future energy. Future energy. Oh, nice. Oh, Taurus, this is good. This is good. Ace of Wands. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Ace of Cups. Yes. So this is like having a new, a new respark of passion here for some of you, new love for some of you, new sex, <laughs> you know, um, and, or others of you, it's just like having love, having creativity, having physical attraction, having emotional satisfaction, you know, is here for you in January, most definitely. So I feel like Whatever this is that you are working on, keep faith in that. Um, yeah, there's some stressors here. I cannot say that there's not. But I also feel like there is a lot to be emotionally satisfied about, a lot of gratitude to be had here, and love. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Taurus, that looks good. So let me see the person you're dealing with. Going on here. Yeah. So, Page of Pentacles, King of Wands, Six of Wands, Six of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. So Taurus, this person over here, they're, they're investing in their creative self as well. They have a lot to overcome. They're trying to overcome past hurts, you know, past emotions. Might be very nostalgic, might be very stuck in their emotions during this time frame. Um, they're slowly moving out of it, but it is slow movement. I mean, really slow movement, okay? But I feel like this person is just slower to change than you are. They may also have some insecurities, lack confidence at times, and that holds them back. I think they've really been hurt in the past, you know, or, or had something here that really put them in an emotional state, whether that was you that did it or something external to this. But I feel it's like that creative spark is there, but they just can't grab it just yet. In, in January, I feel like this person's going to... Be more in the seat to call the shots, but still yet overcoming the past, still um, slowly moving forward here. Now, for a few of you, this person may want to call the shots so bad that they 
aren't going to be generous with their time and energy because they're too focused on trying to overcome what's happened in the past. But it's slow movement out of it. Don't just ignore my dog. Sorry about that. So let me clarify the Ace of Cups here. Wow, okay. So I can see this two different ways. Hold on. Sorry about that. I couldn't take the dog. <laughs> so I clarified the Ace of Wands and it's the Two of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, which is your energy, Taurus, whether you're male or female, sorry, King of Pentacles. So I feel like there's a soulmate connection here for you, most definitely. For some of you, it's new love. For some of you, it's someone you're currently with or a reconnection here. But I feel like, you know, there might have been some indecisiveness here or for some reason of two minds, you know. For some of you, I'm just going to straight up say you have two different situations going on or possibly two people. One, some of you have walked away from somebody that you know, wasn't in your highest good, right? Started focusing on yourself, found balance within yourself. And then it, here comes January and there's new passion, there's new love and a soulmate here. Yeah, hey, um, I feel like if that's the case, the person that was left behind is the one I'm picking up on over here. They're still not over it. They're stuck, but wanting to look like they're right, but they're not. They could be right, but they, they just lack confidence here you know I don't know how else to put it or they're just stuck on the past you know what I'm saying um for others of you it's that you have a partner here or someone in your life that's really really going through it and yeah they're going to overcome it but they're just slower to move out of this energy than you are and I feel like you have more passion more energy more love to give uh to to whoever this is even though this person may have a tendency to dwell dwell on the past or be uncertain in their energy or insecure at times either way Taurus <laughs> ace of wands ace of cups two of cups yes darling you know what I'm saying like tap into that you know because that looks good <laughs> you know and it certainly could be um having newfound passions and love for self or career for a lot of you because I did pick up a lot of career vibes here. Um, but I think for most of you, this is love, you know, whether it's intimate or platonic because the soulmate card is here. So a lot of th passion to be tapped into and whoever this is, you have, pet, you have past history with them. So regardless if you have new stuff coming in, the person I'm picking up on over here is someone you have history with. Okay, if that helps you narrow it down. Um, and they're just slower to change. All right. So uh, interesting messages here, Taurus. I hope that it resonated with you. If not, check me for the next reading. Zodiac signs you might be dealing with. I have Libra energy here. Aries energy. Um, lots of water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be another Earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Leo are the predominant zodiac signs I'm seeing. Uh, but keep in mind it's a general read, so it could be any zodiac sign. Either way, I'm wishing you all the very best, Taurus. Also, please check out my social media account links down in the description box below, Facebook, Instagram, and I have another YouTube. I don't do tarot there, but I just do random talks. If you want to catch me there, you can. Um, and then now, in addition to being able to subscribe for free, and please do like, share, and subscribe, you can also hit the blue join and become a member for a nominal fee, get additional readings and extra time with me. Either way, I'm wishing you all the best. Till next time, my friends. Namaste.